Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Fawns. Here as the mighty Portuguese Empire. Um, considering people wanted to see it, this is roughly what we look like. Minus, actually wait, is there a better way to do that? I'm just thinking that might not be the best way to do that because it also shows England's stuff as dark green. Um, no, I guess that'll do. Most of this is ours. Uh, actually, wait, Portuguese culture might show it a little bit better. Yeah, pretty much now. Yeah, I'll show it again once we're done the war. Also, somebody had asked to show trade good bonuses. Let's see if I can find them. Uh, first off, we have a lot of world port stuff. Uh, trading in incense, tolerance of two faith. Trading in tropical wood, development cost. Trading in cocoa. Trading in sugar. Trading in coffee, trading in spices, trading in ivory, and uh, that seems to be it at the moment. Uh, I could probably do some of these trade company investments, couldn't I? Um, yeah, might as well do some of this. There we go, fully upgraded everything in that. Uh, trade company region. So currently we're in a war versus France for colonial provinces, <clears throat> but uh, France is in another war which is helping us a lot. We stole most of Canada from Scotland. We weren't able to get it all, but we got a good majority of it. And we're currently waiting until I manage to core one of them, which then, uh, core five of them, which should technically get us Colonial Canada, I'm hoping. Uh, if it does, then we should be able to force France to concede Canada as well in one giant decision. Yeah. We also stole a province here from Brittany, picked up a couple of their lands around the world. Um, oh, nice. My worry is, of course, that France's military is significantly stronger than us. You know what? Just do it this way. Sorry. I don't like the fact that it doesn't always take into account the strength of the army with rebel suppression. A little frustrating. Oh. Uh, wrong button. I just scorched earth my own province. Oops. Yeah. That was dumb. That was very dumb. Okay. Um, that should almost any rebellions in West Africa. Now with Scorched Earth, it does an even better job. That was dumb of me. That was really dumb of me. Okay. Uh... Interesting, France does not march their full army into Paris. A little strange. Huh. Okay. You know, I wonder if... I think there's a feature, but it'd be really cool if there was a feature to tell you how much money you earned in the entire game. We have earned a lot of money. Yeah, we should be reasonably good, given some time. Lost the Siege of Paris, of course we have. They take it with like a 6% chance, as usual. Oh well. At least they didn't get a ton of land back, so we can wait and recapture it. August of next year, okay. We have to hold out against France for a year, give or take a couple months. I think we can do that. Although France is going to hit me with a level 3 general in Paris. Come on, England. Wow. England's not particularly good at combat, are they? Um, yeah. Let's keep working on Muslim provinces. We'll switch to Shinto once we're done. 
Okay. Paris is reoccupied for the moment. France is still in this other war, war um, against Milan and stuff, which is nice. Otherwise, we'd be in significant trouble. Luckily, they're proving to be rather incompetent about splitting their forces between the wars. Come on. That isn't good. Oh darn. Okay. Probably gonna lose some troops. Might lose the whole army here, actually. Okay, that'll be handled. This is not gonna end well. Come on, England. Okay, we won because they bathed off when England arrived. That's lucky. They have some nice discipline. Yeah, we're gonna lose this fight. Even with England, it's not enough. Significantly better morale, but inferior military tactics and massively inferior discipline. Pull back. Yeah, okay, that should work. troops does France have left? They still have manpower. Of course they do, because it's France. They always have manpower. It's like Russia and the Ottomans. They always have more troops. Let's get you out of here. I don't want to risk losing my army if I can help it. And there falls Paris again. Come on, a little bit more. We just have to get to August. Come on. Unless I can't form a colonial nation while at war. Slightly harder <laughs> to do. Oh, I don't actually know if I can form a colonial nation while at war, so. Need to take peace soon. I think we're gonna actually wait for the tech here because we really do need military ideas somehow. Okay, uh We don't particularly seem to be getting Oh why Oh they Oh, making gains. Oh, of course. I hate that gate making gains modifier. And here they come to Portugal. Of course. Okay, anyway, I think. Probably the smart thing to do would just be cut my losses at this point. Um, I'm going to end up getting one province on the border there. I guess we'll do this. Huge land grab.
Labrador. There we go. I guess you can't form them while at war. I'm gonna have to send an army over there. Are you my big army? You are. And you needed cannon. Okay, well... We actually won a fight against France in Stoll Land. I'm going to actually up the absolutism there. Um, so we don't have a free missionary. Yeah, okay. Uh, just core it then. Possibly embargo on Milan because they're not a rival. Awesome. And then we will rival the main. More importantly, we have now arrived in the HRE, which should mean we get military authority. We should be able to try to enforce some religious unity. Yeah, on a halt kingdom. Uh, let's do commercial monopolies. There we go. I'm free merchant. Um, where to put you? Um, let's do Mexico. That way we streamline it a bit. Well, outside of the 13 colonies... We got a colonial nation in every single colonial region and, oh, in the New World. Not counting, of course, uh, uh, Australia. There's the autonomy there, too. I don't want to, but I think having higher autonomy in a couple provinces is fine. For now, at least. At least till I can convert it. Once I convert them, they should be loyal provinces. Mostly. Can I... Yes, I can promote that to a level 5 advisor. 13, 12, 6. For some reason, I don't think we're specializing in military. Yay. Cannons are being constructed. Halfway there. need to reign in those Nova Scotian separatists very soon. I'm rather worried about them. Nice. My French colonies is done. Okay. And that's another rebellion. For some reason, the Native Americans in North America are very unhappy with me. On to Labrador. convert the reformed faith here a bit. Considering the reformed faith seems to have won the reformation stuff pretty handily actually. And England wants my help in Indonesia again. 
I look away for two seconds, and again, there it war in Indonesia. I'm kind of fine with them conquering Indonesia because I still managed to steal 95% of the trade from the region. Once it goes through uh, Ivory Coast and stuff, it's mine. Speaking of which, I have not done any army drilling, have I, this game? Uh, there we go. Military. I think we're going to probably go quality at this point. Obviously not until we get the next military tech, though. Okay. And hopefully with that, Quebec will be under control. Oh, that's just saying I've cleaned up all the French lands. Had a lot of colonies there. Because of France. Um, we call you. I'd like to pick up one province in here so I can beat them up. Although apparently Spain gets free claims in the entire Philippines, which is accurate, honestly. Although annoying. Um, I think Japan is going to be one of my next targets. After all, we're really close to wiping them out. Two wars, pretty much. The better cannon. Awesome. And... Ugh, I have no idea how I'm supposed to deal with the Ming. Korea and Russia. They're still at war. Um, maybe Korea is actually a target. Just thinking, we do have two provinces here we have to steal. Two or three from Korea we can take. Who died? Oh, you did. Okay. Delightful. Um... I think if I occupy these provinces, they'll instantly turn into uh, Labradors. Uh, we still have one, one more Muslim province to convert. That should stabilize East Africa. Mostly. Huh. Oh, this province is in Maine. No wonder it's not transferring over. I actually do have a province in the 13 colonies. Oops. That's American culture, though. So happy with some of those provinces we've managed to pick up. Um, yes. Didn't get the rest of the Ivory Coast I wanted though. That is frustrating. <laughs> Who cares? Um, Jesuit missions. I really want this done. They have holy orders, but maybe they have to be the Jesuit holy orders. As if I can even do this. I don't even know if I can. That's frustrating. It was very frustrating for me. Uh, 
And we are now in direct competition with France from now on. They hate us. Ooh. Oh, I don't have high enough tech yet. Darn. I was going to say I could get the final... Final dominance of trade would be mine if I had gotten that. Flexible rivalry, sure. Royal marriage with Austria has ended. Spain is just broke. Oh, yay, yay. Spain is literally just broke. Um, okay. Labrador is stable, so let's let's leave and head to Africa. We still have to conquer the Congolese region if we can. <laughs> 140 gold is being steered by me with 53% of the trade there. Someone as high as I'd like it though. Oh well. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Especially if I boost the trade power even higher. <laughs> um, how much money do we make from trade? I'm going to say like 400? 322. Yeah, we're definitely the richest nation in the world from trade. Not the strongest militarily, though. And that is frustrating. Um, oh, boy. I need to get a better military advisor. One that I can actually promote a couple levels. Catholic Portuguese, perfect, even though it's only land maintenance. And with that, trade ideas <clears throat> are also done, which is awesome. Um, encouragement of Merchant Navy will cost us one Diplo point for the rest of the game, though, probably. But the sheer amount of trade steering we should be getting now is going to be crazy. Um... Yes, transfer trade power. Three forty six. Three sixty three. I guess that works. Queen Consort has died. It's sad. Very sad. Um enough for this. So I'm going to start a war with Korea over southern Japan. Once I get a royal marriage with Austria first, though. If there's any inheritance to be had, I do not want Spain inheriting Austria. You know how the Ottomans are usually the sick men of Europe? This time, Spain is. They are... Oh, never mind. I got a royal marriage from these guys anyway. Cool. If he dies, war between Portugal and Spain. Not so good. Not good at all, but okay, I guess. Um, yes, cancel suppression. Player war for southern Japan. Should hopefully be reasonably fast, this victory. Can't imagine they can hold out forever. Not when they've already been clobbered in another war.
Japan can be attacked next year. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get this started. Oh, I don't actually have a claim on these guys. Now I feel stupid. Um, I guess we're off to Japan then. <laughs> Fast turnabout there. Can't do that. Okay, off to Japan. Let's take this tiny little Korean iron. Let you can do it, game. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to have to wait a while for Korea to actually surrender, but... Because uh, we need 10 war score, regardless of uh, if we've already taken what we want. I have to wait a bit. Oh, poor quality copper. Darn. Oh yes, we're also now starting to convert Japan, which is going to be interesting. Oops, let's convert the rest of France first. Fortunately, Shinto is a dying religion in Japan, thanks to us. Go after Japan now. I don't know if I want to. The boosting trade income permanently for the rest of the game is very useful. I do want to take Kyoto this next war. Oof. Use a bit of money there to promote those guys, couldn't I? How much trade do I actually pull through here? Not a lot. This is the issue. I really need to get some land in Bengal. Why I'm very frustrated that Spain is endlessly in debt because I can't use them in any wars ever. Really annoying. Come on, Korea. Nice. They will give up all three. Okay, and 20. Good. Nice. That is three provinces. Cleaned up a bit. Let's say yep, Mexico is disloyal once more. They're always disloyal these days. A little frustrating, really. Okay. I love how I'm totally ignoring the fact I'm at war in Indonesia. I, I just don't care. <laughs> let Fran let uh, England handle the problem. No one else. No one's gonna really take my land. So, Gorontalo. Okay. Oh yes, I forgot. There's always uh, New Zealand, but that's already under the control of England. So, yes, I'm not gonna get it. Um. Yeah, let's just work on uh, New Guinea there. And I think that was, that's going to be it for this episode, I think. Because this next stuff is going to be a reasonably long war against Japan. And yeah, that's pretty much... What else it's going to be? Really, we have to take out the steel still. We, I cannot figure out how to do this Jesuit one. I, I don't know. 
And if somebody knows, can you please let me know? Because that is becoming very frustrating. And obviously we have to figure out a way to attack India. And the rest of Oman. Okay. Um, I just want to check one quick thing. Still cannot call Spain. I might actually attack Vijayanagara next time. No, I can't. Oh, Let's take out Japan, then we can focus on India. Since we're not going to go after Korea or the Ming, really. So, thank you guys all for watching. That will be it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.